Now, this video is not about Mercedes specifically, although it could apply to a Mercedes Benz. It's a little story I want to share with you because this happened to me a couple weeks ago. And I, I thought, you know, I need to show you this, the viewer, because sometime you might use this little technique. What happened was I had loaned out my GMC diesel pickup truck to my son who was moving, and they called and said, we have the, we have the truck loaded and it won't start. The starter's making funny noises. And I said, okay, stop. You know, it was, it was kind of like making a grinding noise. I said, okay, just stop. And I decided to send my mechanic over. I said, can you run over there to the house and, and help them out? They've got to get the stuff moved and the truck's loaded and it doesn't start. Well, he gets over there and look what he finds under the truck right away. He could see that the starter motor was loose from the bell housing and he was looking down at the ground and here's a starter bolt. Can you believe that? Broke in the driveway. What could, what could be better than that than have your car break right in your driveway? Well, he started poking around. The other bolt was missing also. Obviously that had broken earlier and the starter motor was only being held in with this one bolt and it finally broke off and it broke off cleanly. And guess what? Both of the ends of those bolts were down in the bell housing and getting to them. Now, granted, if the engine and transmission were out and sitting on a bench, it'd be very easy. You know, you could get a reverse drill or some or drill it and easy out it and whatever. But down in that really tight confines, and I apologize, I wish I wish I would have given him a camera. I had no idea this was going to happen. But if I would have given him a camera, this would have made a great video because you, you would have been able to see just how tight the confines were to get down there and work. And I've got, to, I've got to hand it to him. He was able to get these two broken ends of the bolts out. He was able to go to a hardware store, buy a comparable bolt, and within an hour and a half, he had that truck running again. Let me explain how he was able to get these two broken ends of the bolts out without any real special equipment. My mechanic was able to get both of these broken ends of the bolts out with a right angle pick tool like you see here. Uh, because he had such a tight area to work in, he was able to go into the hole and just kind of grab the edge of this and rotate it. And rotate it very patiently. And if you've got other, other pick tools, like this real small one, it's got an even sharper edge. And depending upon the angle you, to get into the hole, you might have to use a 45 pick tool. But he just sat there and worked with the pick tool very slowly, rotating it, rotating it, rotating it, rotating it, until he was able to get it out far enough that he was able to get a hold of it. Now, I should, I should mention that this technique is only going to work on bolts that are not seized. Uh, if you break the bolt off because you're trying to get it out and it's seized in there, this isn't going to work at all. But a lot of times, if the bolt has broken due to vibration, which is very typical on a lot of diesel engines, uh, that means that this bolt is probably going to be loose in the threads. And that will allow you to use a pick tool to back it out. So if this should ever happen to you, log this little tip away because this might really save the day someday for you too.